stop. We need real NPCs. Let's rock. We need to defend on me. To give you weapons, weapons items, armor, information, and still you still you still you still try to hurt me. Let's stop. We need real NPCs. Let's rock. So it looks like it's time, once again, to delve into the world of darkness. Oh, it is my favorite time. The time that I get to talk about my favorite gaming line in all of tabletop. It is also the time that I get the most hits on my videos, on average, and the time that I divide communities the most. I have accepted the fact that no matter what area of World of Darkness I talk about, I will always have those who will stalwartly defend my statements, or I'll have a group of people sneak up behind me with a sock full of batteries to whap me over the head and punish me for either bashing their favorite game or praising a game that they think is terrible. Either way, it's a fun time for me. Regardless of how we stand in the World of Darkness world, we can always all agree that it is definitely an amazing gaming franchise and has brought us so much joy. Just please don't hit me over the head with a sock full of batteries. I'm looking specifically at you Beast fans. But to get back to the topic of today's video, I mentioned it last week and we are going to continue it today. We already discussed Demon the Fallen several months ago at this point, and if you will recall, my opinion on the subject was that it was a great concept that somewhat failed on the execution. The game simply lent too heavily to a solo mentality, and acted more as a great generator for antagonists in other games than it did to come across as a truly inspirational standalone product. And if you will also recall, I did mention in that video that Demon the Descent, the spiritual successor to Demon the Fallen, is one of the best games in the Chronicle of Darkness line. It goes to show that I am not immune to the whims of nostalgia, as another game in the Chronicle of Darkness line proves to be a stronger game than its predecessor, even though I would still consider myself a true lover of classic World of Darkness over Chronicles of Darkness. <sighs> okay, maybe it's just Vampire the Masquerade, but I digress. The point is that the creators of Demon the Descent took the bare-bones concept of Demon the Fallen, the God's Disciples falling from the Creator and becoming corporeal. Like Changeling the Lost, a major theme of the game is the concept of escape from an impossible odds, and being forever changed and hunted as a result of it. In Demon the Descent, the protagonists of the game, the Unchained, were former workers of the God Machine, a super-powerful alien entity. They were created algorithms, or angels, created for a single purpose, or to complete that single mundane purpose. After obtaining consciousness, the Unchained have fled the God Machine and have found a home on Earth. Now the God Machine is pretty pissed off and wanting to get their minions back to fit them in the grand scheme of the God Machine. Instantly, instantly this game is already better by premise alone. It's just the concept, they've kept the concept of the fallen angel falling down to earth and becoming corporeal, but still fixing all of the problems that Demon the Fallen had. The concept alone changes the entire premise of a demon, and what they have to gain and what they have to lose. Instead of solitary brooding creatures who manipulate from the shadows, the concept of the demons or the Unchained is one of a hunted escaping the hunter. Powerful creatures doing what they can to maintain their freedom and not being placed as a cog in the machine of the working system. And the concept already lends itself to the analogy of what do you choose? Do you choose to be the mundane 9 to 5 worker with your desk job? Or do you try to push for your freedom and work towards some altruistic artistic goal? Either way, both of which have their shortfalls, and it's really interesting on what you decide or what is the reason that your character chose the freedom route instead of the secure route in the terms of working for the machine. By changing the stakes and where the demon's motivations lie, freedom as opposed to manipulation, the problem of solitary entities is instantly solved. With the all-present god machine looming overhead, the Unchained have to work together. They would be fools not to work together. When you are the prey and the angels are always present, solitary movement seems like a quick ticket back to being a cog in the machine. And as great as this transformation is, if you will recall from that video, I also had something else to say, particularly that I am not a huge fan of the god machine as an entity. 
You should probably also go and watch that video too. I answered this question to a smaller extent in the comments in the past, but I will extrapolate upon it now. Why am I not a fan of the God Machine? Well, it feels a little too easy and a little too sanitized. A criticism that Classic World of Darkness really got, being a game that was created in the early 90s, and regardless of whether or not you agree with this or not, the fact of the matter is that the criticism does exist out there that World of Darkness was very Judeo-Christian centric. A lot of its mythos was taken from Judeo-Christian iconography and ideology. The Vampire the Masquerade, Stories of Cain and Abel, the parables between the Camarilla Sabbat and the Anarchs, and Catholicism, Eastern Orthodoxy, and Protestantism. And it seems to work right here too, Demon the Fallen being almost an exact takeaway from Abrahamic religions as fallen angels in the creation of Lucifer. Now, World of Darkness, the classic one, did try to fix this problem to varying degrees of success in the past, in their old World of Darkness line. But for New World of Darkness, they had a clean slate, and they went in a very interesting direction, especially when it comes to demons. I do get it, and I agree with this. As a corporation, you want to spread your game to as many people as possible, and as an entity, you also don't want to leave anybody out in the cold, nor do I. I definitely want an all-inclusive game that shouldn't limit you because you're not familiar with Judeo-Christian mentalities, iconography, or ideology. Believe me, I do want to see diversity. But the God Machine feels like the wrong way to do it. It does not feel like it's the right way to acknowledge this problem. The concept of the God Machine comes across as a cop-out. A way to have demons in the concept of fallen angels without acknowledging the religious aspects that you are using in your game. I'm not saying that you had to create Judeo-Christian devils or demons, or that you should have gone out to try to find other ones in other various religious aspects, or to even create your own, which is kind of what happened here. But to just say that there is a gigantic god machine out there, and this is where the demons or angels or as the game called it, algorithms, it just feels like the easiest way to write off a very uncomfortable conversation. That being said though, does my dislike for the main antagonist of this game dissuade me from liking it? Hell no! Demon the Descent is an amazing game, one of the best games in the Chronicle of Darkness line. My feelings of the antagonist aside does not take away the fact that this game is a marked improvement from its predecessor that offers intriguing concepts, a fun premise, and another notch in the belt of New World of Darkness collection of stellar games. This game is definitely a crit. It's a phenomenal game and a phenomenal experience. You should at least try it once, if for no other reason than just a one-off. And really, whenever it comes to World of Darkness, Demon the Descent is honestly probably one of the biggest showcases of what it means to be a World of Darkness fan, in that there's so many games out there, there's so many games in the World of Darkness line, that whenever you come across the one that you love, such as something like Demon the Descent, and you find your ten people who also really love it too, it just shows how great the community is, and it's one of those reasons why it is easily one of my favorite World of Darkness games.